Okay, it's time to learn one of the most popular apps on the iOS platform and becoming a very popular app on the web and across all platforms, um, Apple, Microsoft, Android, everything, and that is Evernote. So go ahead and launch Evernote. If you haven't already done so, uh, go ahead, log in, create an account with Evernote. This is really one of those apps you're going to want to have with you all the time if you take a lot of notes and you like to be organized and you're really moving into the digital world. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to Evernote. You can share these notes with specific people. You can share them with entire groups. You can share them with teams. You can have email templates if you need something in there. You can work on a document together similar to the way you can with Google Docs. You can upload PDFs in here, pictures, audio notes, um, tons and tons of stuff within here. So here's the bas basic setup of Evernote. Uh, you're going to see you're going to get a chance to look at every one of your notes. You can see a tab for our notebooks, tags, places, and going premium. Uh, some of the options over here on the left are to actually just create a new note. So um, the first two are going to be to create one from a picture. Uh, one's a picture from an actual book um, or a picture of something just random. And then one's just going to be a regular uh, posting. So I'm going to go in and look at that in just one second. But Right here, we're also going to get to see our recent notes, ones that we've been working with uh, here recently. So again, it's going to help us find out what we're working with. So let's say we want to create a brand new note. You can see a pretty blank, pretty generic um, option right here. We've got the options to take a picture right here. We can add photos that we've already taken pictures of. So if you've taken a photo with your iPhone and it's in PhotoStream, you can add those pictures right here. We can take an audio recording while typing our notes, which is great. And once this note's done, we can also trash it, we can email it, send it to somebody else, or send it through iMessages or, or something like that. So first you're going to want to create a title of this note. Uh, let's just call it Video Tutorial, and we'll put it in here. Tap into the body of the text, and you can see we've got you know, our options to actually go ahead and start typing what we want. We can make stuff bold, italic. This is basically a mini version of Word or Pages or Google Docs where we can do a lot of different stuff with. We can bullet point things, we can number list them. Uh, really, we can do a whole lot of stuff within this application to really help us take notes and, uh, you know, just take notes and keep it digital and store them. You know, when you've got multiple notebooks laying around, sometimes it's not easy to have those, uh, those those pieces of information that you took notes on available to you all the time and that's kinda of why we go digital and use the iPads and iPhones is because we can have that information with us on demand so let's assume we've got this notebook in here now let's actually go in and see what we can really do I'm gonna click on my notebooks you can see that I've got lots and lots of notebooks and some of these have notebooks within notebooks um, so kinda of just think how you might use these say you know for example uh, We've got one titled Mac Helpers, one that we actually share for Mac Helpers so we can stay on track with different notes. We actually put our team goals in there, what we're looking to accomplish, map out our plan for how we're going to grow and what tutorials we're going to do and what kind of information we want to cover. Uh, so let's just go into one of these. Uh, this is actually a seminar that I went to. You can see I've just got a couple of things in here. One thing that's really nice, you can see just an example of what you can do in terms of just outlining some, some things. makes it really simple. But what I really like about this is that you've got the option to actually go in and type a little bit, but also put pictures. So there's times that you're actually going to want to write things on paper. Sometimes it's just better to write things on paper. But what's nice is you can take a picture of every piece of paper you wrote on in order. Take a picture and put it right in here. And what's nice about the iPad is it's incredibly easy to come in here and look at these things. And if I go ahead and turn and it rotates, you can see this is actually basically like having that piece of paper right in front of you to be able to look at. Again, if I wanted to send this to somebody, I've got some options to send it as well. So a lot of really great things that we can do within here. Now let's say I wanted to take this entire folder and share it with somebody, a business partner, a family member, something. You can see again, we've got the share icon right here. We've got the option to send a public email link to somebody and let them share this notebook as well. So that's really it for Evernote. There's not a whole lot to it. It is a fairly uh, gigantic app. You'll, you'll be amazed how much you actually use this when you start to add your notes in here and your ideas and your thoughts, uh, journals or anything that you may want to have notes with. 
so hopefully that answers any questions that you might have had about Evernote and if it's a fit for you. If you have any other questions, let us know.